All right, thanks. Um, my name is Court Corley, and I'm a scientist at Pacific Northwest National Lab. We are in eastern Washington, high desert uh, area, and I'm going to talk to you about a competition we held this summer for students to develop uh, biosurveillance apps. Uh, Michael Henry is not here, but he was the task lead, and, and Chrissy Noon helped a lot. So I'm excited to tell you about our work. Go ahead and uh, go. So we uh, had students come to develop mobile apps for early disease detection, early recognition, early warning. They were given an extremely broad um, objective. We said, this is biosurveillance, go do something. And so they, uh, on their first day, uh, enjoyed our wonderful walking around the campus. Uh, and then they realized that they were getting into something that they had no idea anything about and they had no experience on public health because they had backgrounds in um, engineering, computer science, software engineering. So we had one week of um, detect, investigate, respond, um, attack rates, odd ratios, uh, etc. Typical public health 101. Uh, and many of them um, you know, did, did quite well learning about it. Several of you in the audience were judges for our competition, so I say thank you. Um, we had maybe 20 different judges across uh, different expertise from moms and teens, high school students, um, digital disease detection, government, non-government. Um, it, was, it, was, it was pretty neat. So what happened was is these students came together. Uh, we had seven of them. And each of them have uh, diverse backgrounds, and we split them into two teams, an Android team and an iOS team. Uh, so these students had 45 days to develop a, an app, no overtime and no after 6 p.m. they had to leave. It's just uh, the rules of where we are. But, so the first team chose this is their hook, you know, Kentucky Fried Horse. So apparently this actually happened, and 48 million Americans die, or not die, sorry, uh, succumb to foodborne illness of some time every year. Uh, so what they want to do is integrate five different apps that are currently out there um, that deal with recalls, um, restaurant inspections, uh, et cetera, reporting of foodborne illness, and uh, sharing with their friends. So it was a pretty neat app. What they came up with was Food Feed, and on the, uh, this screen you see that this is recalls about um, different sprouts and also outbreaks. We use um, the Health Map Feed and Biocaster and a few other. Twitter feeds uh, to feed this. We also provide uh, cooking tip information and uh, symptom reporting. Uh, so these students learned a whole lot and, and actually did, did a pretty nice job. My favorite feature of this app though is restaurant sanitation violation reports. So in five different cities, what you can do is um, find the restaurant that you're near and it will see um, or it will look at the public health reports on the web and scrape it and say how many violations there are um, and the average for that zip code. So the next team was Flu Yu, and these students were all from mainland China. Uh, so it was, it was amazing. I was very excited what they did. They took the concept of Tamagotchi, uh, the pet that you take care of, to be able to um, build an app for flu surveillance that both they could use and their families back in China could use. So the motivation was how do you get teens involved in uh, participatory surveillance uh, and they wanted to have an attractive interface. So here I am that they made with a pink shirt, skirt and big shoes and funky haircut. So what you can do is you can tap on it much like um, earlier but it goes, um, uh, you can change different avatars, you can touch my throat and I'll get sick and I'll make a cough. Um, you can um, touch either body uh, part and, and say how severe your symptoms are and, and keep track of it. And again, they made it bilingual. I thought it was really cool um, and I think it has you know, great potential. Um, it also has uh, a personal diary of symptoms and then uh, as well a density map of uh, influenza-like illness uh, that, they, that they prepared. So it was a really cool app. Um, both teams were fantastic. They did this in 45 days, and the iOS team uh, was really cool. I have uh, four phones with me if you want to come play with it afterwards to see how they did. You know, there's different versions, and you can say what their right arm, left arm is, um, and also report different vaccinations and symptoms. Uh, food feed was great. Uh, so Helen and I went to um, Penny Caf or Lucky Penny on the corner of Masonic and... Um, uh, Geary yesterday, and had I had my app with me, I would have known that they had eight violations out of 2.6. So don't go there. 
At the end of the, the competition, they had they enjoyed our famous spud nuts. They left a really messy room, and um, the the winning team was the Android team. Um, the judges did a fantastic job. It was a hard choice. Uh, the winning team received a thousand dollars each. The second place team, uh, Android team, five hundred dollars each. Uh, and we hope to continue this and, and grow this as we go through um, the next few years. <laughs>